And social networking giant Facebook is facing a storm from privacy activists and regulators over a study in which it manipulated feeds in order to control users' emotions. In an exclusive interview to NDTV's Shweta Rajpal Kohli, Facebook COO Sheryl Sandberg, who's currently in India, admits Facebook communicated very badly on its emotion study and the research was done in a privacy-protected way. She says Facebook cannot and will not control emotions and wants to assure users it takes privacy very seriously. I have to talk to you about a huge controversy that's clearly making global headlines right now. The experiment that Facebook con conducted, which many are even terming as a, as a Facebook fiasco in many ways, the fact that Facebook used uh, the u manipulated users' feeds to actually generate emotions. 700,000 users and their feeds were manipulated. In fact, uh, the United Kingdom says that they will probe and their data protection law laws are looking into this. So we clearly communicated really badly about this and that and that we really regret. We do research in an ongoing way in a very privacy protective way to improve our service and this was done with that goal. I think uh, we are in communication with regulators all over the world and we, uh, this will be okay and we will continue uh, to make sure users understand that we care about their privacy, we care about their experience and we want to do everything we can to give them the best experience they can. At the same time, manipulating users' emotions is something that, that, that's obviously got privacy activists up in arms. And, and as a user, you worry. You worry the privacy concerns that you're talking about. When you go on Facebook, you don't necessarily want to know that perhaps your emotions are being manipulated by the company. So we take privacy really seriously. We want to give people knowledge, be very direct about what we're doing. We want to give people control so that you choose to share and you choose to delete if you want. And we want to be transparent. So people, people know what we're doing and we're going to continue to focus on those things globally. But would Facebook look at probably apologizing to those to, to users for the fact that they went ahead with an experiment without informing them? The fact that this is something which has hurt all those millions of users around the globe. So Facebook has apologized and certainly, and certainly um, never wants to do anything that upsets users and particularly for communicating really badly in this case. So was this experiment in many ways a mistake? This was one week, and it was a small experiment. It uh, has been communicated as an experiment to shift emotions. It's, it's not exactly what it was. It was an experiment in showing people different things to see, to, see, to see how it worked. And again, what really matters here, what really matters is that we take people's privacy incredibly seriously. And we will continue to do that and give people control and a great experience. But the larger worries then is that if Facebook can actually control people's emotions, can Facebook swing elections? <laughs> will will Mark, Mark Zuckerberg yes. decide the future of, of a country? Can you, can you swing elections? I want elections? to be clear. Facebook can't control emotions <laughs> and, 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 and cannot and will not try to control emotions. Facebook tries to give people the best possible experience. Facebook would never try to control elections. When you go on Facebook, what you see is from your friends and what they're sharing and what they see is from you. And we work hard to help people share what they want to share, to help them do it in a privacy protective way so that people can share and connect to each other. And that's really our mission.